Welcome back to the channel. This is the part two to my fix tutorial, and let's not waste any time. Number one, I want you to delete Rocket League off of Steam and disconnect it. So once you've deleted it off of the Steam library, you want to download it on the Epic Games launcher. Then manually input the exe file path into Steam. Once you've downloaded it from the Epic Games store and then connected it to Steam, what you want to do is go online, go onto Google Chrome, and I want you to search up Rocket League Connection, or just use the link that's going to be in the description. You want to click on the link in the description and it will take you over here. I'm already signed in, but you want to click on Check Setup and then sign in to your Epic Games account, Steam account, and whatever account that is connected here. Sign into any possible account that you can play on. And once you've done that, you want to be able to launch Rocket League from the Epic Games Store. So, you're going to want to make your Epic Games account your primary account, but only if you play on PC. Unless you play on Xbox or PS4, then make that your primary account. But this tutorial is mainly for PC and uh, Windows users. At this point in time, I want you to go onto the Epic Games Launcher, click on these three little dots, left click it on Rocket League, and then click on Verify. This will act as if it is re-downloading any files that are missing or corrupted within the .exe file. Now that you have verified it, go ahead and launch it, see if it works, and if it doesn't, I have one more solution for you. Go into your Windows search bar, search up Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security, and then you're going to want to click on Inbound Rules. And then you want to click on New Rule. Once you've done that, you want to click on Program, and then the blue program on the left. Click on Browse, and then search for the Rocket League file. Once you've found your file, right-click it, and then click on Copy. Then click on Control v to paste it, and click on Next. If it doesn't work, then delete the quotation marks that are in the program path. Click on Block the Connection, Next and then leave everything in this page checked. Then you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it Rocket League just for the sake of this video. Click on finish, and now we'll see if that works. Although we are now in the Epic Games Launcher, I want you to verify Rocket League, restart the Epic Games Launcher, restart your PC, restart the Epic Games Launcher again, and then verify it just to make sure that it will work. But wait, there is one more step that could possibly fix your problem. Go into your Wi-Fi settings and make sure you're using an Ethernet or wired connection. Wi-Fi is easy, simple, but it's not always as good as Ethernet. In fact, most of the time, Ethernet will be faster, more reliable, and will give you priority over other people who are using Wi-Fi in the Rocket League servers. So, be sure to leave a like if this was helpful or fixed your problem. If it didn't, then comment down below. I am always happy to help. Share this video to your friends who are also having this problem. And I might make another video if it didn't work for you guys. With all that being said, it's been a pleasure. Peace.